disk quota. What is this disk quota again? Uh, um, um, I will explain again. Quota. For example, I have a drive guys. Uh, I have a, a particular drive is there. Like this something just for understanding drive is there. So this is 200 GB. For example, 200 GB drive. OK, uh, for example, E drive. I have E drive 200 GB. So I have a user. The first user is student one. Second user is student. What happened? For example, in, in usually I give an example like this. Uh, for example, I have a little brother. I don't have. Uh, I have uh, my um, cousin brothers are there, but usually, uh, you know, sisters are okay, but uh, brothers are like this. Or uh, you know, when the youngsters are there, what they will do? So normally, normally earlier days. Nowadays we have all mobile phone. People don't touch a computers nowadays. OK, so people collect the data, so collect data from friends, movies, songs, software, so whatever it is to collect the data, they keep putting the data into this one. If you do like this, what happened? Unnecessarily your. Your drive will be full, right? So unnecessarily drive will be full. In case you have a multiple users, if you have a multiple users are there and uh, other users won't get a space because data is maybe occupied by single users. So other users won't get a space reserved space reserved in it. OK, so unnecessary data occupation. Second one is if data is occupied by some other user, so you don't get a space to store your data. Drive is 200 GB, but uh, one user put a 100 GB data. Another another user came and put a 50 GB data. Another user came and put a 20 GB data. Now what has happened? You won't get to put a more data in it. So what I've done, what I've done. So here is our practical is. For S2, this is 200 GB E drive. For S2, it is only 20 GB. For only it is 20 GB only. It is 20 GB only. It means this is same E drive for S2 also means student 2 also. So student 2 can store up to 20 GB data in the in E drive in E drive. So that is the practical. So what is our uh, uh, practical part? Disk quota. What is that? Different users. Example 200 GB. Disk drive. My E drive. E drive is 200 GB disk drive. OK. So I give. Sorry. I put a quota. On E drive. For student to so student to so not so so student to the quota is student to can store data in E drive up to 2 GB only. So this is a 
just for example for understanding how to do and all so we see the practically but our e drive how much space is there that is we have to check it so what is our e drive now currently which user we are belongs to that is also you have to check it we are student one you have to, we are student one okay we do in a student one we check in a student two because student one is the administrator so while we are learning we don't get any complexities currently so guys this is the e drive it is a 20 gb drive you go to properties look at it is a 20 gb drive now for a student to also it is 20 gb drive for student to also it is 20 gb drive so currently we have a e drive size is 20 GB only. Okay, so I'm creating a quota to quota on E drive. For since. that is 2 GB only if you want more also you can put it just for fun I'm doing like this 4 GB 5 GB also you can create 1 GB 500 MB also you can do it so the steps again how to do it e drive right click uh, one second so guys understand the concept or not Guys, are you understand concept? Yes, sir. So what I'm going to do is properties, then go to quota, quota, show quota settings, show quota settings, enable quota management, enable quota management check mark. Deny disk space to user exceeding quota limit. Meaning is how much disk space limit you are giving, it will be denied. And don't configure this part. If you want, you can put a check marks for this one. So it generate the logs if user exceeds the limit. Okay, logs. Event logs will be generated. You can see in an event viewer. You can see in an event viewer. So, what is the usage of user? Okay, like this. Next, quota entries. This is quota entries. Click on a quota entries. So, this is the entry window. Click here for a new quota entry or a quota new quota entry. Either this or this. Okay. Now to which user? Again, I know the username, so I'm typing a username. Click on his check names. Okay. Now it is student to disk limit. How much GB you are giving? You have to tell. I'm giving two GB for disk limit. Warning limit. It means you are about to cross your limit. Right, so 2GB completed, then warning is not good, right? So before completed, like for example, your data limit, daily data limit is there, right? 2GB daily data limit, 1GB data limit, 1.5GB daily data limit is there. So 2GB data limit, for example, daily data limit. So it is already a 1.6, 1.8 is completed and it will show warning. Your data is about to complete. You have only 200 MB is left you have a 200 mb is left please recharge your mobile phone or a, add some more data to continue your internet like that it, it is then a warning so same thing i put a 1.6 gb when user is reached 1.6 gb so obviously it will send a warning and also it is wrote warning 
kind of stuff. So automatically login name shows like this, but hello, it will sir. be updated like this. Sir, uh, this hello. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Sir, the, uh, this 2GB is reserved for E drive. Uh, sorry, student for student two. Uh, I specifically tell about a student two, right? So I am giving to student two. For student one, yeah, yeah. it is so 20 GB. Uh, for student two, it is 2 GB reserved for. Yes, 2 GB reserved and limit for a student okay. two. Means the student three is not exceed this 2 GB, right? Very good. For example, okay. if I have a, a account, another account, but I created account, but uh, it is not uh, it started, but you can see. For example, I given a 3 GB for him. So something like a 2.4. Something 2.4 is a limit. Click OK. Now what happened? This 3 GB quota for student 3. This 2 GB quota for student 2. So student 3 will get a 3 GB space. What is limitation is 3 GB. He cannot put more than 3 GB as well as he will get 3 GB guarantee. OK, like that. So I am removing one by one. OK. So once it is you are entered done, then you have to just uh, close it. Then I click apply. OK kind of stuff. You have to do it. Why I'm closing? Because you have to do it once more. See. Guys, again, 20 GB drive. First step. Tell me. Property. Properties. Property. Quota. Quota. Very good. Quota. 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 Very good. Enable the quota manager. Very good. And we need space. And also the log event. Log event. And you ask one question, right? That is, sir, uh, the quota limit for a uh, student two or a student one also. If you put here, uh, then it will be applied on a both or something like it. default quota limit for new users on this volume. It will create like this. Okay, so don't put this one. It will confuse. Quota entries only. No. Next new quota entry. Student two. Check name. Pick names. Okay. Enter the limit. Two GB. One. Two GB. One point six. Why 1.6? 80 percent. To identify, to inform the, uh, the data limit is completed. Yes, warning limit. And why put 1.6? Why not 1? Why not 1.8? Why, why not 1.9? Because 80 percent, keep it always in mind, guys. In infrastructure management, 80 percent is the maximum. 80, 85, maximum. 80 to 85 is a threshold limit of anything network or uh, quota or anything do not reach more than 80 percent of utilization okay that's a keep in mind that's a 80 percent of uh, 2 gb okay now i created a quota quota limit is 2 gb warning is 1.6 you can put a different numbers also to make it happy of 80 percent i've given like that apply Bye. Then it will be warning. Then compulsory read this one. Okay, enable quota. Uh, if only if you intend to use quota on this this volume. When you enable the quota and system, volume will be re scanned to update this usage statistics. This might several minutes. Click OK to enable quota system. Okay, okay, okay. Quota is. Finally created. 
Even what to do? 20 GB data. 20 GB disk drive. Contains some three files. That's it. Again, sign out and sign in. Login student cluster user, student two. Okay. So either you click here also, it is showing your sign out only. Lock is different. Again, lock is different. Windows L, lock is different. Lock means lock the user. That's it. You can't log in with other user. Just uh, again, you want to log in, you need a password to log in. So what is important is e drive student to log in with the student to e drive go to properties look at can you able to see it is 2 gb want to see closely also you can able to see We get 2 GB. No, no. Uh. Sorry, sorry. What do you do? You know, it's the band. Sorry, I didn't mute it. The small work is there. So. Yeah, guys, understand this quarter or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is uh, disk quota. Mm.